Hey everyone, welcome. If we are new to each other, my name is Sarah Boykin. I'm a licensed mental health counselor, certified personal trainer. I teach nutrition, <coughs> excuse me, I have a passion for fashion and keeping things from landfills. And last Friday, I went to the San Francisco bins and these are all the things that I found. I've been holding off on doing this haul. And just to give you a little precursor to what's coming, um, my college roommate went with me and she found Prada loafers that she took home to wear, not to sell. And I found the dust bag to those. So she had this realization at one moment, this was our second time through the bins. The way that it works is in San Francisco, you have to stand in line and they only let a certain amount of people in at a time. And then after a certain amount of time, around an hour, hour and a half, they turn the bins over and they bring new things in and you have to go back and stand in line. So when I say the second time, I mean the second time that we were coming through. And when we came back through, um, there was an entire bin of shoes and she had this moment where she was like, holy, sh this is like really good stuff, as you will see. So I'm gonna start with uh, the things that are at my feet. And these I have already listed on sites like Poshmark and Kittizen, that is these cute, how are we saying this, Saucony, Saucony, these are five months old. I always get a kick out of that light. I always get a kick out of um, when things are like not crib shoes, but like these have grips, even though a five month old will not be walking. Next for little ones, found these natives, very lightweight, so cost almost nothing to buy. Next found these Converse All-Stars. These are a size four and they have already been washed. Look how tiny. Isn't it funny that these are fours? These aren't even newborns. Like there are shoes that are smaller than that. These are other natives. These ones are slightly smaller. I have to figure out what size these are. I wanna say this is a five. So sweet. These are also a child size. I've also listed these on Kittizen, and that are these are the Arizona Birkenstocks. I think this is faux leather and it's in that metallic gold. So moving right along. Oh, this I have already used. There's a few things that um, I bought and I can't show you because they're already used or washed or one is a Sherpa jacket that I sent my five-year-old to school in today by the brand Carters. One is this really cool shirt that I bought for a friend that says, sorry about our president in 14 languages, including American Sign Language, which she speaks, and Hebrew, which we both speak because we used to live in Israel together, um, that I have to wash and get that to her. This I already have worn. I could not believe this was in the bin. This is a faux leather Love Machino crossbody bowler bag quilted and this one upon further research I may keep because I located that there is a hole on the inside of that lining but these do retail for over $500. Next we have, I'm going to demonstrate this one, maybe I won't, I couldn't believe I found this and this has already been washed. All this stuff was already washed which is why it took me so long to get on here and demonstrate what I found. Maybe I'm not gonna put it on. I did put it on in the store and I put a Rudolph inside of it, a stuffed Rudolph. This is a baby Bjorn child carrier. So it works, I know, because I put it on in store, like I said. And baby Bjorn, if you're not familiar, probably one of the easiest carriers to put on uh, in parenting. So happy to find that. I'm gonna get that listed on Poshmark Kittizen, maybe Facebook Marketplace. Next, I found the brand Spiritual Gangster. This is a medium crop with that rainbow shine bright. I love Spiritual Gangster because they are headquartered in Arizona, where I'm from. Um, next, we have this brand I've never found specifically. So this is very heavy, actually. Oh, because it's standing on it. But also, this is Free People Beach. I've not, I found like intimately free people. I found free people movement. I found free people and, but this is free people beach. So that's that label if you've never seen it before, but this is a romper. 
very lightweight and it's got that smocked neck it's not neck smocked chest this is a size extra small but if you know free people they tend to run bigger this is the brand Athleta. This is a size extra small, ruching on one side of this tank in a slate gray. And if you guys have never been to the bins, they are, um, they sell by the pound. They recently changed the tier. It was zero to 24 pounds was $1.79. And then it went down from 25 to 50 pounds. Uh, I think $1.59 and then 50 pounds or more was $1.29. Now it is one to 20 pounds is $1.99, $1.79. Hello, all who are joining. So this is a Brandy Melville skirt. It's got the little slits in the front. This is a great thing to put up on like a Depop type of site. Um, won't make a ton off of it, but there is definitely a market for that. Next I found, I was very excited to find this. This is the brand Michael Stars. I don't always pick up Michael Stars. Michael Stars is a good example of a brand that retails for a lot but does not resell for very much. But this one is a maternity dress. It is ruched on the sides. So I'm going to get this listed on Poshmark, also on Kittizen. And next we have a James Purse, size two. Kind of like this linen dress in a slate gray has pockets uh buttoned at the top was happy to find this and i did sell a shirt a men's shirt that was james purse from the bins that sold for like 40 bucks so pretty happy to find that my roommate from college found this intimately crop so cute might wear it until it sells it's just like this little flouncy adjustable crop top in a size small as I said uh, free people does tend to run a little bit bigger so arguably medium could also fit that next we have J crew the Sutton 30 by 30 pants last one of the last bins hauls I had I found so many pairs of bonobos pants for men and I think I've already sold three of them after selling two it had paid for the entire time so It'll take a special buyer. I don't always pick up men's stuff. And this is men's too. This is the brand J brand. This is a pair of gray pants in a size 36. Hmm. Maybe I should see if my husband wants it. The brand Kane. The color is Eiffel Tower. No. The Kane Eiffel Tower Indigo. Indigo or... Oh, it says Eiffel Tower Indigo or color may transfer. Jeez Louise, reading today is difficult. Um, so that's just a nice pair of pants. So sweet. <coughs> Excuse me. I have this cough that I've been fighting. And I think it's because I'm slowly turning into my mother. My mother uses a breathing machine and has asthma. I do not. But the cough sounds very reminiscent of her. So apologize for that. This is... Janie and Jack in a size five. I was reached out to a few months ago by um, Whatnot, and they had asked me to do primarily kids clothes and maternity. So I might end up doing a pop-up Whatnot of these kiddos clothes because look at this one too. This is a Grayson Mini. So this is a Target brand. So sweet, so sweet. But this is a newborn size, tiny. I can't believe my child was ever that small. All right. This one I may wear until it sells. Oh, no, I will not. It is a size large. This is a Billabong adjustable romper in the color green. Hard to see when they make it on this setting. YouTube, I have words for you. But if I was on Instagram Live, we would be able to see all the things. Um, so this one... It's very lightweight. It's got that billabong tag on the back. This one I was not sure if I was going to pick up because Lulu doesn't always do the best as far as athletic wear like tank tops. But this one was in really great condition and like you're paying by the pound. So, so cheap. Red. There's the Lulu tag. 
but I was looking, 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 and I cannot find the size on this one. It doesn't have any like pockets that would have the size dot. So I'm really gonna have to do some research, probably take some measurements. Yeah, it's not on the waistband. All that makes me think that maybe that is an older style. All right, this is the brand Can Can. I have sold this brand before uh, for my own personal closet. These are a size extra small, just a cutoff short, perfect for upcoming spring. There's the Can Can brand. This one I kind of bought for myself. I'm definitely gonna wear this until it sells. Size small, it says Matcha Mama. It is a sage green sweatshirt. I feel like if I was in Arizona, I wouldn't even consider keeping it, but being in California, you can wear sweatshirts like year round. This just washed. I think it is now finally dry. It took like three days. This is Polo Ralph Lauren, size large, this very beautiful emerald green. I wish I was gonna get this listed in time for St. Patrick's Day, because it would be perfect. <coughs> Glad to be of help. Yes, serious talking to us. This one I may wear until it sells as well. This is an Anthro brand Mave. It is a velvet midi length skirt in this beautiful goldenrod color elastic waistband. This I might give to my kiddo, although it's not going to fit him for a while, so maybe I'll just list it or do it in the auction. This is a size 7 dry fit. You know what? I have a pair, I have a bag of 16 pairs of shoes, but I don't think I'm going to show them today because I do have to get to work. I think what I'm going to do is do a haul with them tomorrow on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, my handle is it's boink and we're going to show all 16 pairs of shoes. And yes, there were luxury shoes because as I said, my college roommate found a pair of Prada loafers. That wasn't all she found. There was a brand I'm not even familiar with, but when we looked it up, uh, it starts with a C, maybe I think Italian made. They reminded me of the Everlane Day Glove flats, uh, but these retail for like over $300. So size large, back to this guy. All right, this one, so sweet. This is Cat and Jack, not a brand I always pick up, but perfect for holidays, especially for a little lady that you don't wanna spend a ton of money on. Also for upcoming weddings, it's got the nice tool underneath, so that might go in an auction. Picked this one up for my hubs, but don't think he's interested in keeping it. That is the brand Penguin. Uh, he used to wear like all Penguin. Oops, power is running low. Um, the This one is a size extra large. He just wasn't really into the print, but there's a market for everything. So we will put it up probably on Posh and on Grailed. This is another cutie piece for a kiddo. This is Wonder Nation. I think Wonder Nation is sold at like Kohl's maybe Walmart, I do not recall. This is a size three to six months, little romper. And we love when the romper has a snap crotch because if you've ever changed diapers, you know tits. This one I picked up for me, just a nice casual. If you know anything about resellers, you know that we like, we kind of rough it with our own clothing and then we sell all the nice things because we recognize what things are valued as at and uh so this is just a hollister size extra small this um oh there's a stain that's another reason we will not sell this on the back just this little ombre t-shirt casual found this this is the second piece by this brand that i found in a week but this one i found at the bins and if you do not know this about me i'm just going to share it with you i am a superstitious person about my thrifting. I believe that if you save something from the bins, which to me is like one step away from the landfill, um, you are going to be rewarded. Like if you find something white that is unstained and unhold, you are going to be rewarded by the thrift gods. And this is an example of something like that. This is the brand Babaton, which if you're not familiar, it is an Aritzia brand, this beautiful, crop. I will wear this until it sells. 
it has, it's hard to see what's going on here. I'm gonna just tell you. It's got shoulder pads. So she's a crop, but she means business because she's got shoulder pads. And this is a size small. Another Free People piece. This is Intimately by Free People, which is more of their underwear line. This is a non-snap non crotch, uh, but she's clean. We did check her out. Bodysuit. And this is a medium to large. Coming to the bottom here. This is Billabong size medium dress. I can't believe I picked up so much Billabong on this day. So just a lightweight, it is lined. So not everybody will see all your business. Next is a pair of Levi Strauss. <coughs> uh, this can be rough. I have to coach tonight for classes. And if my throat is tickling, we are not coughing on the microphone. We just have to like suck it up. I don't know. I'm on medication. I don't know what to do. The doctor said I'm not contagious. I just, it, it's like a permanent itch in the back of my throat. It's rough. So this is a uh, size 24 waist, tiny button fly, cut off shorts. If you know nothing about me, know this. Um, I have one TikTok that went very viral. It has uh, 1.4 million views and it was about a pair of Levi's shorts. A pair of Levi's shorts and a pair of Good American shorts. And essentially it was just an offhand commentary I was making about two pairs of shorts that I sold. And the fact was that the Levi's were marked as a 27, but were smaller than the size 25 Good American, which speaks very much to um, women sizing. This is a pair of Athleta shorts in a size 10. These are nice because they have that lining. I'm sure there's a style name that I have not yet found. I was looking at these for like the tag to see what year they were from and I could not find it anywhere. I like looked on the outside. Oh, I found it finally. Uh, oh, these are from summer of 2020. So they're not even that old. Yes. And they've got zipped pockets. We also found, this is an addition to the shoes. I don't think I showed you these. These I've already listed. Uh, I found a, a several dust bags, including, as I showed in my stock photo, I will show you in a moment. Uh, this is a Dolce & Gabbana dust bag. Has elast oh, elastic, has drawstring closure. I found a larger Alexander Wang dust bag. I have not sold dust bags before, but I see that people do sell them, so I figured they're lightweight. I can pick it up and try I found a Tom Ford sunglasses case, velvet, nice. I found this Kate Spade bag. This is just a Kate Spade purse, polka dot. It's a crossbody, pebbled leather. I would say very good condition. It has just like, I've already listed this, but it has a little bit of wear on the handle. And then, as I said in my title, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we call clickbait. Uh, I found Gucci. So I did find Gucci, but to clarify, this Gucci bag was given to me by uh, my best friend from college that went reselling with me. Sorry, that went sourcing with me at the bins. She bought this at an estate sale and she's she had buyer's remorse afterwards. So she gave this to me to sell for her. It's gorgeous as you can see. I do have this already listed on Poshmark, eBay, um, Mercari, Depop, and where else? Tradesy, which is now best year. But um, this is the bag that she gave me, but it just so happened that I found at the bins a dust bag, which will up the value of that. So we have a Gucci dust bag to put that in when it sells, so I was able to advertise it as with dust bag. And then there's one more thing that's staring at me that I can't believe I forgot to show you. These I do need to clean up and I am gonna wear them until they sell. I also wanna tighten them, but I found, check it. Do you see these? Do you see who makes them? They are Fendi. We found Fendi sunglasses at the bins. Now I did look these up. I don't remember the name of them, 
but see, you can see they have a little bit of scratching on them. Um, that's a nice reflective view. There's my beautiful outside. So these retail for $795. I've seen them sold on Poshmark as new uh, for 200 and something. I paid almost nothing because they're so lightweight. I'm just gonna tighten up the little tiny screws on here and I'm gonna clean up the, that's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna clean up um, the lenses and then I'm gonna get them listed. But if you guys are just now joining, once again, my name is Sarah Boykin. I'm a licensed mental health counselor, certified personal trainer. I have a passion for fashion and keeping things out of landfills. And I will be going live tomorrow at some point on um, Instagram, probably in the afternoon, with the 16 pairs of shoes that I found at the bins because this is all from one haul. Essentially, I spent about $74 and made out like a bandit because like I said, we got Moschino, we got Fendi, I got, um, you know. Oh, I didn't even show you this, my goodness. Burberry, I found Burberry. I found a Burberry dress. I really had to look hard to figure out where it was from, but I've already wash, washed this as well. And it's just this little sweater dress. So we had a great haul, maybe one of the best that I've ever had. So I'm looking forward to showing you some of the things that are in my shoe haul tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you and I'll see you later. Bye.